hello and welcome to session number 66 of Outlander's Guide to Lindaria. We did it the first try, everyone. First try. Hi. No technical problems hey. anyway. Mm. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Here we are at our table once again. How was your week? Yeah. Um, Long, but good. A lot of, yeah, a lot of things happened. Yeah, busy. Yeah, busy, busy, busy week. week. Huh? Yes. Happy kind of busy? Yes, happy For busy, me, but yeah. busy. Woo! Okay, that's all the questions I had for you. We can jump. <laughs> Ow. We can jump right <laughs> into uh, the recap, which is being provided by someone who wasn't there for the last session. This should be good. Mm hmm. All right. Not gonna lie, the session was really good, but it felt pretty hard to make a proper recap out of that. So what I decided to do is I put down notes while I watched it. So I will just go off of them. Uh -huh. Okay. Because not gonna lie, a lot of the session has been plan making. And so I, a normal I, recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How dare when, you? When taking notes, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wrote like half a page of what you guys wanted to do and then didn't end up doing. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll cut it short. <clears throat> On the journey to find Jemuel's stuff, the group finds this glass castle. And at the start, the group, in the look of the stuff, is on a huge plaza with a lot of tables, and each table has, like, tools on them, which are sorted on each table. They also meet an Asim language school, where the Asims are being taught to speak Plurnum, and I think at least hellos. Um, then the group is being sent to a tower and being told to only take what they need and they're looking for the stuff there but the stuff isn't there either um the other thing that happens during the time on the plaza is that Virion feels like the group is being watched and when the group gets out of the plaza uh, out of the tower they see an as an that has been staring at them, or at least looking at them the entire time, and Viren is pretty sure that it, that's the one that has been looking or following them or watching them the entire time since they joined there, and the Asen actually approaches the group and says, help me, and then says, mine, and touch and points towards the glass castle. And since we're such a nice group of people, we decide to help that Asen <laughs> Go to the glass castle, find a room with a fountain in the middle, and in that middle of the fountain, I think, is a cage out of glass, and in that cage is a big red heart. All of us had seen before, except for Virium. And that's, I don't know where she if she broke there, but that officially made it to be the strangest thing Virium has ever seen. <laughs> we did it. It's official. <laughs> it is official. I also wrote down that the leader of the castle is called Yiskasek, or she who sees within, and she is apparently in the tallest glass tower of the castle. But we go to the plan crafting phase, and we're left with a decision to either help the Essen we know nothing about and try something based on our assumptions, since he isn't really giving the group a lot to work with, or just ignore that and talk to she who sees within. In the end, we make a plan and decide to help the Azen and rescue the heart. The Azen stays outside with Brooke and Sunny and the other three are going inside. All right, let's go to the plan. <clears throat> when the plan is starting, Pip is being Wait. <laughs> I wrote down Pip is being very loud, so while Virion was teleporting, the guards almost see her. 
and catch uh, her. I think that was because he tried to cast a spell. That sounds like Pip. He's yeah. very loud. Viren then gets to the cage, gets to the heart, and when touching the heart, gets a vision, and in the vision, she is a person running from a small arm crowd, and the muscles on her shoulder hang onto her, and she is running away, leaping through the reel and the dream world just to get away from them. And then she gets basically put out of that vision again because I think the heart turns into a turtle. <laughs> 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 In the meantime, there is a big distraction caused by Tekka because he hits the glass wall with the gloves he has and he uses the mask to make the sound of a gnome gunshot. Everyone is distracted and apparently everything afterwards goes perfect. The hearts gets polymorphed into a turtle thrown over the wall caught by <laughs> Pip and then Tekka has inhuman strength and smashes the entire glass wall <laughs> and all run away. Did I recap that properly? I think that was what yeah. happened in the plan. Yeah, well, you put it like that. It <laughs> seems like a really bad plan. I'm surprised that it works. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought truly something was going to happen. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, at Brooke and Sunny's place, approximately around the time the heart turns into a, perp, into a turtle, the Ezen has what seems to be some kind of heart attack. <laughs> and when reunited with the heart, like when the groups both meet each other again and the Ezen's reunited with the heart, both reach out to each other and then the heart goes inside the Ezen and the Ezen turns humanoid again. Hey! Because he isn't actually an Ezen, he is an Atara Duff named Noah who has recognized, who was recognized by Squeak and Varian from their visions because of the colored tattoos on his arm. And he wants to make us rich. The end. <laughs> ah, marvelous. What is Thank going you. on with your inspirations there? You have three. This is still oh, illegal. Oh, God. Who doesn't have one? Oh, no, but he isn't playing. Does Jory not have one? Jory? No, I, Jory. I, I, I actually use one? mine. I actually use mine. So do you have, do you have your still? Stock inspiration? I have this one, yes. I use All right, the... Jory can have it. Yay. <sighs> what, shall we, what shall we call it? Um, Glasspiration. <laughs> Exasperation. Glasspiration. <laughs> Glasspiration. Yeah. It was a really good session, by the way. I laughed a lot. <laughs> like, even when watching, commenting in the Discord chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> So good that you all had so much fun without me. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, we would have more fun if you were there. And, and anyone, anyone watching this would not know, but like Dennis shared that tiny snippet screenshot of his notes where he just wrote "help" all in caps. So. <laughs> okay. didn't make it on the end script. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> Uh, oof, I just heard a meow. There might be there might be a guest appearance of Phoenix any second yeah. now. But in oh, there he is. He has arrived. In one yes. Here comes the boy. Oh, Hello boy. Welcome. <laughs> there is a castle. That's how the song goes. All right, give us all the money. <laughs> oh, jeez. Or else. Okay, so uh, you are your group is currently following the Etara Dov, uh, that uh, whom you have just assisted. Uh, he, Phoenix, my goodness. Uh, he has like his hands in his pockets and he's moving, um, like halfway between jogging and walking kind of fast but not so fast that like people would turn around and see where, where these all these people are running uh he's just moving with this confidence and he, he seems he he has this huge smile on his face he has that kind of grin that goes up like mainly one cheek and not the other it's kind of asymmetrical um, he, every once in a while, he turns back to make sure that all of you are following, and he takes you through various alleyways, taking kind of like a, a 
a wide way around, but ba looking at the at all the towers that are around you, using them as a point of reference, you know you're headed in the general direction of the exit. Uh, and eventually you make it out, out of the castle, um, with no one seemingly noticing or paying much attention to your group. Uh, once once you guys are out, he's turning back once again to make sure that all of you are with him, and uh, um, he gestures to his left and says, Okay, we just need to go around. Almost there. Go oh. around? Where? Around the castle. Where is there that that we're almost? Ah, just where I've left my <laughs> most important treasure. Oh, you'll see. You're gonna love it. Think what of... It? Well, what it is is not as important as what it can do. Look at the friends you made along the way. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> is it the friends that you made along the way? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about to answer that. You know what? Um, he, he, like he, he holds up a finger, um, and he says, "Now, one thing at a time. First, I." I have not heard all of your names yet. Introductions would be nice while we walk. Uh, I am oh. Squeak. <laughs> I am a Ladarian rat. <laughs> Is Squeak in rat form visible? Yes, but in armor. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see it, 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 Noah seems to be difficult to surprise or at least he doesn't show it too much you see like him pause for a moment and then like he decides just not to worry about it he just says well it's a pleasure to meet you not the weirdest thing he's seen this is my squire Pip <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I am Tekka. You may call any, uh, Virian, uh, pleasure, charmed. Uh, I'm assuming we kind of tried to talk. <laughs> when you were waiting with us, but I'm Brooke. Oh yeah, if you want, Brooke and Sunny could have introduced uh, themselves yeah. uh, earlier, but like at, the, at, that, at, that ti at that moment in time, um, no one wasn't, wasn't uh, exactly very responsive to your introductions. Um, at this, uh, right now though, he, he, he nods and seems to like remember the actual exchange. Um... And it's right at this moment where he stops somewhere outside of the castle, um, right up against the wall and sort of like on the side, not quite all the way in the back, but on, um, he has just gone around a little bit. And uh, this is still a section of, uh, of the cave with not really much going on. Um, you're further away from the lake and all around you there's just the natural terrain of this really vast uh, underground area. Um, he repeats each of your names real quick and just mumbles them to himself to, to remember them. And then when he gets to this spot, he, he comes to a stop and he holds up a finger and says, All right, I'll be right back. He takes one step. And as he does, he... 
vanishes over the course of just a second or two. He fades out of existence. There's nothing left of him. He's just gone. Oh. Well. Um, <clears throat> I think he'll be back from... Well, I have, I have so many questions for him, but... I believe he just likely needed to, as far as I know, wake up for a second so he could get elsewhere and he'll probably be back quickly or he just left us stranded here. If he left us stranded here, why did he, why did he bring us behind the castle? Honestly, I have no idea. A lot has happened today. Noah reappears about 30 seconds later or so. Uh, he doesn't look any different, just a tiny bit... Oh. What was that? <laughs> he brought a cat back with him? No, that, that <laughs> was dog? actually... No, that was... I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like... A guinea pig? It, it, it was pig? like... Oh, uh, how do I... I don't know what the English word for that is. One second. It was lit? No. It was lit. Uh, <laughs> that really is dead. <laughs> a cap lit, a metal cap. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grinding. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it really sounds like a little squeak. And it is from squeaking. It's because it's I have your making rat it's, just, it's just me fidgeting around. <laughs> Anyways, um, when, when, Noah, when Noah reappears, um, he he just glances around at all of you and like touches his chin for a moment uh, in in a thoughtful manner and says, "Okay, quick question: Can any of you go in the world of dreams?" Uh, I can for a short amount of time. Perfect. Okay, there. you look strong. I need your help. Come with me. Mm. And he vanishes again. <laughs> I hope you understand that it's only like for six seconds. But <laughs> we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna use what is it called as a walk, I guess, and try to go back into the dream world. You can you can do it for three rounds, so it's eighteen seconds. Oh, eighteen um, seconds. Let's but go. it's still yeah, it's still pretty limited. He doesn't know. Um, All right, as soon as I pop up and see him, I'll, I'll be like, okay, you got eighteen seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rest of you see Brooke very in a very similar manner to Noah take one step and like you never see him actually finishing that movement he just fades out of existence uh, Brooke for you all of your surrounding, surroundings become a little blurred and then a lot changes all at once Directly in front of you, there was the wall of the castle, but it's gone now. The cave is empty. There is this vast expanse directly ahead of you, where the castle used to be, where there's just no construction whatsoever. It's just natural terrain, a bunch of rocks lying around. Uh, Noah has his foot on a particularly large rock, not quite a boulder, uh, just uh, moderately sized. Uh, he gives a little kick, and he says... Okay, all right, that's enough time. Uh, lift this for me. I, I can't. What is this? The rock he's standing on? Right, yeah, he, he, he taps it with his foot and steps back. Okay, I'll try. Uh, for your strength, that's really easy enough. You just uh, uh, pick it up. You're holding on to it. It's just a normal rock. You're not really sure what the point of it is. But then you see Noah kneeling down and beneath the rock there was a small hole in the ground uh, where he grabs onto, well, nothing. You see him just stick his arm into the hole and like move his hand around and his face quickly, um, his expression quickly becoming a very panicked one that that's a moment when you fade back 
into the world Did of I kill the him? making. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the rock? <laughs> you want to <laughs> just bash him over the back of the head? Brooke, when you fade back into uh, the world where your friends are, you're still holding the rock. Huh. Okay, so I didn't kill him. <laughs> well. I was in the dream world and looked at the rock and <laughs> then I was gone. How exciting. Can you look for him? Can't you do that? Yeah, yeah. Pip holds up the the uh, lens and activates it. And you as well, you through the through the crystal you don't see the castle anymore. It, the wall directly ahead of you is gone and a, a, like a few feet beyond what should have been the wall in an area where there should have been a solid construction you're seeing uh, the Etara Duviev just freed very panickedly just he's just lying down on the ground uh, with his arm down a small hole um, and he's looking increasingly more and more panicked until he suddenly just stands back up uh, and uh, the, the, the rest of you see him uh, uh, reappear next to you. Um, and uh, now he's sweating a little bit. His, uh, uh, his hair has gotten a little messy. And he's forcing a, a bit of a nervous smile that is very obviously not uh, natural. And he says, okay, so, small problem. Uh, you want your rock back? <laughs> no, it, I, it's good, thank you. You didn't have to take it. <laughs> Just boom. I mean... Noah begins to bite uh, on one of his fingernails. What? Um... Well... Maybe I know where to look. And he takes a few steps oh. away from you. And then, like, he immediately comes to a halt and turns back around and says, Ah, uh, maybe I should explain what's going on. Please. Okay. So, I have a, um, treasure. It's very precious. One of a kind. Nothing like it. Uh, it's called the Crystal of Creation. I went through... A lot of trouble to get my hands on it and I went through a lot of trouble to wait for it to uh, function and uh, it looks like during that wait somebody took it but you you know where to look even if well, somebody took it mm, I, I have an assumption I mean, nobody here ever goes in the realm of dreams. The Ezen just don't do that. Iskazak can't. But there is one guy. The only person around here, besides me, who would feel um, able and compelled to break the rules. One of you guys. Not you, your group. I mean, a foreigner. What is so, his name? Oh, I have no idea. I just know we ha there's one guy in the castle. He's been around for a little while. Uh, never actually seen him. I just know he's a foreigner. But I do know you... that he can do magic and he can visit the world of the dreams. So, prime suspect right there. That's all that you know about him. Um, between you and me, this dreamwalking thing is it's news to me. Uh, do you require an explanation? I mean... 
I'm, I think I, I'm having a bit of a crisis over it is, is all. And I thought maybe I had some time to, to think on it. And apparently I don't because it keeps coming up. Okay. All right. Uh, want to sit down somewhere on that pile of rocks over there? You know what? Sure. Um, maybe I can, uh, I can answer your questions and then you guys promise to help me steal the crystal back. Not so fast. Okay. I was expecting you to yeah. Um, like, I think you gotta tell us first, like, what is this thing? Where did you get it? What does it do? How did he know it was, uh, hidden? Why would he take it? Well, I suppose we do have time for my whole backstory. So, sure, might as well. <laughs> I'm going to sit down over here. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think you know, before we agree to anything, I think we should maybe take a minute to assess the situation because this is a lot of new information in a very short amount of time. Noah sits down on one of the rocks. He has his back against the wall of the castle, and he like he put he uh, he puts his fingers together behind his head. He makes himself very comfortable. And says, yeah, okay, I mean, you guys have helped me out, and I'm trying to convince you to help me out again, so what I can do is have a chat. Where shall we begin? Well, firstly, I don't know if it's the most pressing thing, but it is, since we put your heart back in you, which I'm still also freaked out about, by the way, just putting that out there. Um, how exactly did you end up in this situation here with, you know, the whole heart being uh, detached and put in a cage thing? You all don't know about Ezin, is what I'm understanding. I have met four of them now. One of them was you. Uh, well, it is... Uh, ever since uh, um, you guys have stepped on our continent, we quickly got... We quickly figured out that you don't quite like this, um, let's call it, system. Those of you who have learned how as in are mm, created, so to speak, have always been freaked out by the concept, and quickly we realized it was much easier to just not explain. But I suppose you guys already have uh, seen what goes on with us. I suppose I no longer count as one of them. Long story short, whenever you are uh, prepared to leave your life behind, you come here, they take your heart out, and then you get to continue on existing for a few more years, helping out everybody else around you. Any questions? Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems pretty straightforward to me, but ask away. They, they take your heart out? How do you keep living? People need hearts. I think. Oh, uh, if, if you want to know exactly how that's done, I don't really get it either. It's something that Iskasek can do, and <clears throat> she handles it. Uh, all I know is that the heart is taken out, but it still beats. And as long as the heart survives, so does the rest of the body. Oh... And Taking the heart out, oh. it's... <laughs> the... what, what? What's going on? No, don't worry about it. I, I just have a feeling I know why some Ezen keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 
okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, removing the heart is part of the process. It makes you, you know, less prone to following the whims of emotions and makes you all logical or whatever, which apparently is something good. So once you're separated, you do not have free will. Uh, not having free will is not exactly how I would put it. You change. You definitely change. And the first few years, you're sort of this fumbling idiot who doesn't really know what else to do besides following orders. But once you get past that stage, then you're fully fledged as in you can go around and help people. So did you not want to be an Ezen? Oh, I did. Well, to an extent. Uh, the first thing I told you is that anyone who is done with life comes here. I wasn't. I had a plan. I needed to wait out a really long amount of time, many, many decades, and I didn't want to be uh, all old and weak by the time uh, that time had passed, and becoming an Ezen does slow down your aging process quite significantly. That's really smart. Well, it was a perfect plan, except for the fact that I lost my thing by the time I was done. I mean, also, it... I thought I would have been able to free myself, but it turns out that once your heart is gone, you don't really feel passionate about your great plans anymore, and I just never went looking for my heart. I was going to say, it didn't seem like a very well thought out plan if you were relying on a bunch of uh, ragtag outsiders to show up and be able to help you and honestly in hindsight was a very bad plan no 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 I, I, well I had to try it I had to do something and it was really the only idea I could come up with I thought either my heart or my body would eventually seek the, the other part out and my heart did it came all the way here from stilling and dread apparently that's why was it, was it at stilling dread why uh, why? Well, why 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 are the hearts taken there? Hearts are taken all over the place. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the point, well, there's two reasons. Uh, one is simply to hide them. They need to be locked up somewhere underground where nobody will ever get to them. Why the wouldn't second, they do that here? Why would they take it to... They were not safe there. We killed many of them. <laughs> It I... seems like you could have better security if it just kept them here. Also, no one wants to come here. Yours was locked up here. Now, there are a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, Ladarians are very good at not touching the hearts of essence. They know where they are and they know not to mess with them. Uh, this has really only become a problem since you guys showed up. Uh, second, well, I don't actually know the reason why the hearts are scattered across the continent. Why they're not all put in the same place. That one is up to... Uh, I mean, Iskasek must have re her, her reasons. I really am not sure about that one. Still, everything works out as long as nobody starts digging up a bunch of coffins. Okay, which but the hearts seem to did really attack like. us first. I'm just going to throw that out there. And didn't they attack know, each other as well? Yeah! When, when they pulled my heart out, um, it was normal. It was heart-sized. Um, that thing it has become. I don't quite know what the deal is. It seems to have grown over time, and perhaps they change in some way I cannot explain. I don't really know why they would attack each other. Mine, at least, seemed to remember what I was trying to do. And once it was freed, it, it 
sought my body out. So a small part of my plan did work. There were a lot of issues along the way, but I made it. Thanks to you. But I made it. And now I would have everything I could ever want if it wasn't for the fact that the crystal is gone. Ooh. <clears throat> that is a wonderful segue into what is this crystal and what does it do and... Boy, um, I'm assuming that there were a bunch of people who were very angry that you took it. If I'm reading the situation correctly. Yes, but it's been decades and most of them are probably gone by now. We've forgotten the whole thing. There's no way so? they would have... Oh, yes, absolutely. That's part of the reason why I waited it all out. But, um... <clears throat> Starting from the beginning, do you know who Cloud Weaver was? Cloud Weaver? Uh huh. Mm. I, I do not remember such a name. No? Okay, he was a dragon. Um, and he, according to legend, he was the one responsible for making the land that exists in the sky where the dragons live. As even as of uh, today. Um, the crystal that I am talking about was one of the gems that grew upon Cloudweaver's body. And like all gems of all dragons, it is infused with uh, uh, Cloudweaver's emotions. Now, Cloudweaver was known for his ability to make things. He could turn things into other things, like clouds into land. He could create trees and grass with his breath. And uh, uh, this crystal that he has shed has a part of Cloud Weaver's power. The crystal can create things. That's why it's called the Crystal of Creation. And I don't know who took it from Cloud Weaver, or if it was Chad naturally. I don't know who was the first humanoid to have taken it, and I don't know all the humanoids afterwards who got uh, uh, their hands on it. I know that, uh, uh, well, I thought I was simply the last person, you know, long line of people to have gotten their hands on it, but, well, somebody else has taken it since. But that's the story. So, so all right, you you got the crystal, you came here, you had your plan, you buried it, you and you you waited out decades so that people who knew about the crime died off. Ah, and so that the crystal would recharge. It. Oh wow. It takes Whoa, a long it takes time. A it, I suppose to dragons that's nothing. Or however long they live. Uh, for people that can last as long as a lifetime. Uh, still, I literally couldn't use it when I got it. That's why I had to wait. So you wanted to wait until recharge so you could what? Make like a pile of gold or something? Oh, oh, right. You you foreigners, you think that gold is really valuable. Right. No, no, no. I was going to get myself a piece of land, a mansion, uh, people working in it. You know, actual It can make wealth. people? <laughs> it's a crystal of creation. It can make anything. We can talk about this when you're a little bit older, too, Pip. Now, the what? You knew about this? <laughs> about making people? <laughs> When you become 470,000 years old, you just know, oh, yeah, there's a crystal that can make people. Oh, not crystals, <laughs> but we can talk about that later. What? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noah just lets, like, this conversation come come to an end before he, like, clears his throat a little, <clears throat> just a bit nervously, and he says, uh, right, anyway, by now... 
assuming nobody has already used it, the crystal should be able to fulfill multiple wishes. So once we get our hands on it, I get what I want, and you guys also get what you want. Which can be, oh. I will uh, repeat, anything. Oh. It can't move things from one place to another. It can't destroy things, but it can make stuff. Well, we gotta get it. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, Who's I've come this me? far. <laughs> no um, one just holding up a hand. Big grin <laughs> on his face. <laughs> we came here for other reasons. I was Again. about to say. No, guys. <laughs> I mean, guys, think of what we could do with it. I mean, we'll get the th other thing. With the crystal, we can make a whole new one. Like, what's it matter? Noah. Your previous plan did not seem to work. You do not even know who or where this foreigner would be. Oh, I know what where a foreigner you... is. Where? Um, that tower over there. He points at one. It looks like any others. It's not the tallest one. Uh, so it's not the one you've been told where Iskazek is. Uh, but it's also not the only one we visited, which was a storage one. It's just one tower among the others. And it is not this Yiskasek you have mentioned time and time again. Oh! No, 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 no. She can't. <laughs> she can't enter the world of dreams. She's forbidden. Why? Uh, oh, right. Foreigners. So, Ladaria is split into four parts. There's the land, oh. there's the dreams, there's, there's yeah, yeah, the yeah, sky, yeah, yeah. And there's the yeah, sea. Yeah, 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 I... we know this. He just had oh. a brain fart. Right, so, Iskazak can only <laughs> exist in the sea. She's an Atara Philly? No, she's... You don't know who oh, lives she's in a... the sea? Oh, no. What, what kind? To my understanding, she's bound to... Oh, jeez, oh, Phoenix fell... She's Hello. bound to Phoenix? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh God, he that's rolled. a new one. He, he rolled down the desk. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> to my understanding, she is... Uh, well, she can reach that. And is pointing off in the distance at the lake. Uh, she can get out of that. And she uh, the lake continues beneath the castle. So there is uh, that tower up there. The tallest one. The lake reaches up to it, and uh, um, so we can expect to see her there, or we could expect her to come out of the lake at, at, at any moment. Uh, we don't need to worry about her, unless we end up in trouble, but we just have to not be caught. Easy enough. Mm. Well, I have a pretty good idea of who has the staff. I unfortunately mm. Sorry, believe. what was that? Uh, why did you speak like that? It was really difficult to understand you. Haha, -ha, it worked, see? <laughs> 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 Mumbling of... Um, a professor used this word. I th ob obfuscation. <laughs> <laughs> he would be so proud. I think we need a meeting in that top tower. With the... With Iskasek? Yes. Are you... You guys want to become as in two? No. Maybe. <laughs> Pip. What? After all you have seen... You I really like shouldn't isn't. give up on your life yet. You you, you look quite okay. young. <laughs> All right, convinced. That's not <laughs> cool, though. <laughs> so you're you're not going to tell Iskazek what I've done, right? 
I have no intent to. Maybe. <laughs> Please don't. Why, why would you help me thus far and then, right as I'm about to make you as rich as you want to be, you just... <sighs> why would you do that? I won't. We reunited you with your heart. So will you help us with our mission? Your mission being speaking to Iskasek. I believe yeah. there's something in that top tower that does not belong to anyone there. Oh, no, you're I... also looking for treasure. Hmm? What is it? Is it valuable? What does it look like? It is not valuable. We will see it. We will know it when we see it. Ah, oh, come on. Describe it to me. Maybe I can tell you where it is. Maybe I have it. You are a person that covets treasures. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, you think I want to take it from you? No, 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 no. I... Look, uh, I may not have a whole lot of respect for the rules. And yes, I might be, I suppose, somewhat selfish. But <laughs> listen, I'm trying to work with you. You helped me. Yes, I'll help you. Then you help me again and I'll help you. <clears throat> Speaking from experience, Becca, these sorts of situations, you come to have an understanding with people who have uh, similar skill sets. A thieves' honor, if you will. Well, if you believe he can be trusted, then fine. Oh, absolutely. Oh, trust is a very, very heavy word, but I don't believe he'll double-cross us. So, is it time to make another plan? A much simpler one, I promise. So we go to that tower where the outsider... Do you know his, his or her name? <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't. Uh, here's everything I know about him. He's... He comes from outside, from uh, Polorna. He is a man. Um, he can do magic. He can, uh, and it's magic that we are not familiar with. Uh, he can step into the world of dreams, much like I can. Um, he seems to have something going on with Iskasek. She lets him stay. Uh, she even gave him his own little tower to stay in. Mmm, lovers. <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of thing. Um, I haven't <laughs> seen him, but I do know he's... Uh, he has long ears, like, like you, Virion. And he has... Walks around with a staff... Also has a hat, I think. Got, a, got a, 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 a staff, you say? Like a thing you used to walk around? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what kind of staff? Uh, again, I haven't seen it. Just stuff. In your experience, since you seem to know at least a little bit on the different abilities from uh, outsiders to those uh, native to the area. You don't come across too many of us who are able to enter the the dream world. Correct? It's somewhat uncommon. It's not just a thing that we all can do and we just didn't know about until we got here or anything. Is no, I, I was under the impression that uh, um, outsiders exclusively stayed in the waking world. Okay, me too. But 
There seems to be exceptions. I mean, every year more and more of you come here and you all look so strange. Skin is so smooth. All right, so so we go find him and then what? And we take the crystal back. Uh, do you think he has it on him and that he hasn't used it? I am hoping that either he hasn't used it or he doesn't know how to use it. If if this man could create anything he wanted, I don't think he would just stick around in the castle. He'd be in his own castle. So, with a bit of luck, the crystal is in his tower. Either on his person or among his belongings. Sorry, this was asked already and I just forgot. But how do you know he has it? Because no, Ezen never goes in the world of dreams. So how I can't think of any other it, candidate that... How long I has mean, it been since you turned into an Ezen? Ah, uh, decades. Let me, let me count. Uh, it's been 34 years. And you know that there has been no other outsider here? I have seen, it's been rare, but a few outsiders have come here with that same look in their eyes that everyone else does when they're just ready to go. They've all become as in, to my knowledge, except the one. Well, that's... That's weird. This, uh, this, this foreigner that um, you're talking about, the one who likely has your your crystal, has he been here since before or after you became an Ezin? Oh, he arrived much more recently. Uh, okay. Only a few years ago. He hasn't always been in the castle. He has come and gone. So... Uh, Right now, I have no idea if he's even in. If he isn't, we can go through his stuff a lot more easily. Well, he could have taken the crystal with him. Uh, we have to check his tower. We have to begin there, at least. Is anyone gonna stop us from getting there? <laughs> no, of course no, not. I mean, I've got my mask, I'll just... Walk up, and if there is any guard, I'll tell them I have permission to take you all in, and then we'll walk in. I mean, I can disguise myself also of having another Ezen with you helps. It most definitely would. Do you, do you speak Ezen fair? Absolutely not. Then say nothing, and he will be fine. I'm good at... Actually, no, I'm not good at that, but I can wing it for a while. Is Pip still disguised as an Ezen? Has it been over an hour? Uh, has he not dropped it this whole time? Nope. <laughs> Are you sure? He can still be. I'm good to go. <clears throat> I could turn myself into an Ezen as well. Does that help? Uh, what matters is that uh, um, these three hide themselves. And he's pointing at the uh, Virion, Pip, and Tekka. Hmm. I cannot hide myself. Why is that particularly important? Just because, I mean, aside from the fact that I stick out like a sore thumb a little bit. Not that Brooke doesn't, actually. You're very tall. Did the guards see you when you went to get my heart? They saw an Ezin. Oh, well, then you'll be I'm fine. Then we need to do nothing else. Shall we go? I I do have another question. 
how many times can the crystal be used and when or if we do get it, what are you going to use it for? Land? The servants you talked about? The the power of the crystal, it's... Think of it as a creature that needs sleep. And the longer the crystal sleeps, the more energy it will have when it is woken up. I cannot... I don't know the details. I don't know exactly the limits of the crystal, but it has been sleeping for decades and it should be able to do incredible miracles. It and you're going to let us use as... some of that power, right? That's a deal. Insight check. It's... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, but continues. It's been longer than I had originally planned to wait, so it should have more, more than enough power to get what I want, which you need is land, house, large mansion, and, and all that comes with that. And then you're and done with it. You don't need exactly. it anymore. So we can mm -hmm. have it. Mm-hmm. Um, and Pip, the, Pip detects no malice, no attempts yeah, to, to lie. He's trustworthy. He seems, he just has like this, this kind of natural charm. Um, after the initial moment of panic when he realized the crystal was gone, he seems to have gotten all of his confidence back. It radiates out of him. Pip just, uh, gives a little... Yippee! I'm excited, and then pats, <laughs> pats, uh, pats him on the back, and and uh, and is going to just try and take a little, take a little snag of hair, and be like, oh, yeah. oh oops, oops. I got oh, you're, too excited. You're strong for a kid. Ah, oh, did you just pull my hair out? Yeah, sorry. That's fine. Just watch it, okay? Uh huh? <laughs> but before we get going, we don't need to get too far into this, but just, you know, so I have something to food for thought on the walk back. Um, implications of uh, perhaps that there are foreigners who may or may not have a, a different relationship to the dream world than originally so hypothetically if if one of us were to maybe have been told recently that they might be awake on the dream realm and not in this realm as it were is that something you might have some sort of further knowledge on that we might be able to talk after this about further knowledge on um, this how tra I'm very interested in how you are able to move between worlds. And you can't? Not without help, it would seem. Huh. That's weird. You're telling me. Ah, uh, look, I've never personally met someone like you before i've the only people i've ever come across who in this world are asleep is my own kind i was under the assumption that that was it both in regards to lidarians and plurnans alike but you learn something new every day up, up until a few days ago, I was under the assumption that the, that that just wasn't a thing that happened. Is that when you were awake, you were awake, and that was it. And dreams just were a thing that happened while you were asleep. And... Uh... I'm sorry, you said this is new information to you? What's actually happening? So there's a, a lot of um, 
long, long history, and I won't uh, new date you with right now, but the short version is myself and people like me, often, you know, the pointy ears and all that, we live for a very long time, and we do not and cannot sleep, and therefore cannot dream. And it has recently come to my attention that this may be because I am currently already dreaming. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Well, you are currently dreaming. How is it possible that you don't know? See, that's... That's what... Wait, how, how are you so sure on that? Just... I can tell at a glance. What do you mean you can well, tell at a glance? You look different. You don't see a difference between yourself and and me and the other people here? Just looks around and she's like, I mean, yes, but nothing that is directly related to to dreaming, more the fact that, I mean, there's a, I could just point out a lot of things. To my eyes, everything here, except for myself and for you, has this sort of fog about it. Like everything else is slightly blurry. It's a small thing, but it's very noticeable, especially in contrast to what I look like. And that's how I can tell. You know, I, I look around and everything is... feels like it belongs here. For lack of a better way to explain it. Hmm. Well, that's the extent of my help. That's how it works for me, and how it works for everyone like me. And you seem to be unaware. You were under the impression that you didn't sleep at all. You're obviously different from the Etara Duv, But I can tell you that regardless of what is actually going on with you, you are... This is your dream. It is not the world you will come from. Right. Right. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if the confirmation helps or makes this worse, honestly. Um. Wow. Can you make yourself wake up from these teams? Sorry, Dennis. Make, make what? Can you make yourself wake up from these dreams, like, you know, when you have a nightmare and you really want to get out of that, no. you focus on this just being a dream, and then it's there time is... to wake up. I can do that. I can also seamlessly just shift from one world to the other. It... <clears throat> it's something that you learn to do over time. When, when you're a kid, it's... it doesn't come as easily. I saw uh, when I had to grab your heart out of that cage, which I'm... Honestly, I'm, I'm going to have to process that later. Um, Thanks again I saw, for that, by the way. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Um, so, uh, hindsight, awful plan. Surprise, it worked. Um, <laughs> I... saw... a glimpse into... I believe was your memory of being chased and... getting away with something. I know the feeling very well. But <laughs> shifting between worlds as easily as opening a door, it seemed. Just effortlessly. It's like taking a step. See, that's what makes me really good at stealing. No wall, no door, no safe can, hold, uh, can uh, keep me from wherever I want to go. That would have made my life so much easier. You have no idea. I... My heart saw something too. Something of yours. And... 
if I may be the one to ask a question this time around. I would love to know how you managed to be on that ship in the middle of the sea and no devil came to get you. We just... Our seas are not the same. They aren't the realm of... At least as far as I'm aware, not the realm of souls and devils where I come from. <laughs> you have... Broke not. So, what's in the sea then? Just fishes? Uh, uh, fishes, water, um, some very big fish sometimes. I mean, they're not entirely without danger. <laughs> but just huh. not as not as many vengeful, angry spirits who will uh, crush you uh, the minute you step a uh, foot into their territory. Hey. Bizarre. I'm just telling you what I've experienced. So, so, so where do the, I mean, where are the devils there? Oh, sorry, Jory may not know this, but there are no fiends in Plurna. Yeah. Oh. And, and Varian just like kind of like blank stares, just like, is if they're anywhere there, it's nowhere I'm aware of. Hmm. Never heard of a place. So, so wait, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but if there are no devils in the ocean in Plurna, but there are here, then couldn't that be true of a dream world too? Nobody's mm. blinking very slowly and like trying to wrap his head around, around the idea. Have you ever been to the Dream Ocean? Is that a thing? Is, it, is that... Or do you just avoid it also? Well, there is no sea in the Dream World. It is just this empty space around the Daria. There's really nothing to be found there. The land and the dreams, they're connected. Mm -hmm. It's where one ends, so does the other. And the sea is separate. And I'm sorry. I... The sea and the sky, yes. Yeah, okay, the sea sky, is the for sky. devils, sky is for dragons, land is for dreams. This all came about back when uh, the all of uh, Lirare was split. Because the Lady of the Land and, and Meodopite went, uh, uh, went along so well, they were the only ones who wanted their respective domains to still remain connected. That's why we and the people of the waking world can visit one another so easily. And that's why I am not forbidden from being here, and all the Itara are not forbidden from coming to the dream world. Fiends and dragons, though, still cannot visit. I mean, there just—I mean, there might just not be a dream world in Plurna, in which case, I—I mm, don't—I don't know how this works, Virian. Maybe you've just been in a coma your whole life, and none of this is real. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if that's better or worse. Well, maybe if we get this crystal, you could make a big book explaining how it works. <laughs> Dreamwalking for dummies. 
Well, let's go get it. Who's with me? <laughs> um, me, the DM, I'd like to ask if you guys want to show trust before you go. Yes. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> I mean, I'm fine, but I guess. Because if you want, slot. you can... <laughs> you've been talking to Noah for a little while, and, like, the... It can drag on, like, for a little longer, and you can just get a short rest. Yes. I'm yeah, taken. just, just, yeah, just, just, uh, I'll click the button, get your short rest in, and whenever you guys are ready to go, Noah will take you to the tower where, um, supposedly this, this, uh, Plurnan man, uh, is living in. Right before we go, mm -hmm. um, Pip lays out his stones and is going to cast Augury <gasps> and say, uh, We're looking for the Stone of Creation uh, by seeking out the Plurnan Outsider in the Glass Castle. You toss your rocks around, they roll in a configuration um, that you have seen previously, and the interpretation comes to you quite quickly. Uh, the stones indicate that re the result of this uh, plan you're about to follow uh, will both be good and bad. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, there, either during the last minute of rest or like during the beginning of the walk, uh, Tekka is gonna try to use the the mumble of obfuscation <laughs> <laughs> uh, to ask the group to distract Nova uh, and then ask for uh, Orm from a variant. Because I have Tekka Orm. <laughs> So, Sunny, and, Sunny offers to like just ask a bunch of questions to Noah, and like provide the distraction you guys want. Uh, yeah, Tekka is going to ask uh, Orm. Have you been here before? Do you know the name Yiskasek? I'm gonna write this in white because it's a very dark image and I'm about to write onto. Uh, and. No, Vera's been doing such a good job. I mean, Vera can keep it. Well, yes, I am. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that is good. That's a convenient escape route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the occasion? Why... Were you and Jamuel here? Oh. <laughs> I see. Last time you were here, did it end on good terms? Good question. Hmm. 
Right. Well, his staff may be here. So anything, any information you have about this place, about Yiskasek, would be useful. Could you point out the location when we are there? Great. Thank you, Or. He can count. That's pretty good for a Really good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Tekka would give the opportunity if there's anyone else in the group that wants to ask a question. Uh, if nothing else. Um, is it canon that 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 book Orm has like a, a vibrate notification feature? <laughs> There have been instances in the past where Orm wanted to get your attention for a reason or another, but was unable to. He he cannot. He can only write in his pages. He cannot move. Uh, gotcha. He cannot do anything. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, no, no vibration setting. So we'll just have to keep him out. Keep checking um, in. Keep checking in. Uh, yeah, I mean, unless there's anything we want to see if he could try and remember with his 5% thing, I think we're good. But I do want to try at some point, but maybe now that's not the time, I don't know. <laughs> hey, once per day, we can try. You can also get your 10 HP sure. that you never get. <laughs> yeah, 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 we gotta use these features. <laughs> Any other features that I should know about? Let's say, <laughs> it's on this say, card, <laughs> Um, He's telling us stories uh, about the glass castle. Read. See, there, there's like multiple pages on this card. I don't read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, there's so much stuff on here. Yeah. I, I just saw this this last page. I was like, oh yeah, that's it. I wonder when <laughs> I wonder when Orm's gonna level up. <laughs> so there's a five percent chance uh, um, uh. that because uh, uh, okay context so. The this is the Outlander's Guide to Ladaria. It was the book that Jamila was working on, and it was almost finished. But by the time the party found it, and uh, the soul of Jamil's dog is now in it, the uh -huh. guide has been almost completely erased. Like the pages are blank, and over time, uh, the book, which is now the dog, has been remembering the information that has been erased from the pages. Uh, so some things have been, have been coming up over time, and uh, there's this feature where, uh, yeah, this one, where there's a 5% chance that uh, uh, whatever you ask him about, if it was originally already in a book, that Orm can immediately remember it. I mean, oh. if you want to try it now, we can. I'm, I'm game for it. I don't know if there's anything we can try for it. But we might as well try and use it every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and there is uh, a temp HP feature. This one, Oop. Oh. which is I don't think I believe for weeks. Did I know about this? 
Oh, that's because the party never yeah. uses it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had completely it's a, forgotten. I mean, it's, only, about it's only two We use HP, inspiring but... tales. Oh, oh, okay. Well, since we you guys are gathered two... around the book, everybody can get two temp HP. Yes. Two temp Ooh. HP? It's practically immortal. <laughs> <laughs> I what did we get two HP for? <laughs> oh, no, <no>, Dennis. <laughs> what? <laughs> If you gather attention to this side of the table, <laughs> we're recounting the abilities oh. that this book has had that I did not know about for like the six months I've been playing this game. Oh, yeah. I knew that. Um, I, there is a problem though. I'm I'm sorry, Virian. You're not in here yet. Or Orm has not been working on these summaries in a while. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, if there's nothing else, I think we can continue on our travels to the castle. To the castle. Okay. Um, who is disguising themselves, and how? I think Virian will again. Um, same thing. The disguise self. A similar vibe where it's just taking a hodgepodge of different bits of as in fashion so it doesn't look like any one in particular but fits in. Mm -hmm. uh, roll the performance check for me. Okay, okay. Do I have that? Uh, Pip is not going to disguise himself as an as in again. <laughs> Okay. Because, because <laughs> last time when they did the heist, that, he was he was that Essen, your first so. natural one. It is, and I don't think there I'm gonna burn is. the um, inspiration Whoa. in that one just because I feel like it might. Historic <laughs> moment. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. You want one of mine? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll let it happen. <laughs> All right, take one. Are you? Sh uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Unless you're like you're gonna really insist, but <laughs> history is joy being must remain pure. <laughs> I, I mean, if, if you're gonna put it in front of the table, I guess I'll reroll it. <laughs> Since you gave it to me, oh, Maybe it has been be. given. That's two ones. <laughs> <laughs> Next Double to one. each other. <laughs> Eleven plus four. That's a fifteen. Four. Yeah. Wow. What a gift that Dennis has given. That is zero. <laughs> okay. Um, one of fifteen. When uh, uh, you disguise yourself, putting on uh, like your appearance is different from the one you had done earlier. It's done in the same manner. You're just putting together all these different aspects of different as in that you've seen previously and just putting on a, a disguise that is a mix of everything you've seen, uh, but looking different from the as in that seemingly stole the heart. And yeah. you see Noah like giving a glance at, uh, at you after you do this, um, after you guys are, have, have all gathered again, you're done with the book and you're um, just doing your preparations before going and he does this like nod of approval. Uh, he seems to think that you've done an excellent job. Okay. He puts his mask back on as well in his very large coat. Um, and then he gestures ahead and he says, All right, time to go. It's gonna be great. He walks past this kind of big-ish rock, and he he leaps over it, and he just hits it with his foot, and he tumbles to the ground. Like two seconds after he uh, he spoke, and uh, he eats a bunch of dirt, and he slowly picks himself back up, and he dusts himself off, and he says, "Okay, so." Turns out, after 34 years, I am actually kind of out of shape. 
<laughs> um, Tell me about it. If you guys can fight, right? And he's looking, especially like, in the direction of the two, of the two fear bulks, to survey the two most imposing figures in the group. If, if anything goes poorly, I, I, can, I can count on you guys, right? Great, let's go. <laughs> it won't come to that. We've never had anything go poorly. <clears throat> Just try to not make it go poorly. So, back inside the castle you go. No one leads you to the tower that he has pointed out. And he doesn't do it in a direct line. Uh, he seems to know the interior of the castle really, really well. He keeps taking all these smaller roads, these smaller passages in between buildings, um, just trying to avoid larger crowds. So it takes like almost twice as long as it would have taken you to just head straight there. But at no point do you come across anyone, and at no point does anyone attempt to stop you or to call for you or anything. You just walk all the way up to that particular tower. Um, were you? What were you planning to do with Orm? If anything, like, did you want to have it open for for any reason? What do you want from him? Yeah, if is the is the door is Jamuel's door on the way to where we're going? Um, because Orm mentioned the sixth floor. Which floor would we be passing by at this point? Well, you're you're not in the tower yet. Okay. But but we're keeping it open for when uh, Orm's ready to point something out, maybe. Yeah, that seems wise to me. Let's just like let or have the opportunity to speak once in a while. Okay. That's easy enough to do. You're just walking at a normal speed and then nothing prevents you from holding the book open in your hands and occasionally glancing down to it. So as you're approaching a particular tower, Orm would confirm that that is indeed the place. Uh, that is the place where Jamil spent some time and where he had permission to build a one of his doors in. Um, in front of the of the entrance to that particular tower, there is an Ezin guard. Uh, Noah, confidently, uh, but with that slow kind of pace that Ezin usually have, he walks up to him. And in as fair, so Tekka Tek understands, understands this briefly, just says that uh, he's supposed to take you to see the foreigner. And the guard simply steps aside. You can almost imagine the smile behind the mask, uh, behind Noah's mask, uh, as he walks in, in into the tower and uh, turns back to see that you're following. Hmm. Uh, are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're following. Go <laughs> <laughs> by himself. He got this. <laughs> Later. <laughs> um. Oop. Okay. Oh. Everything within this tower, much like the others is just made of glass and so looking up you can see a, a little bit of the floors that are above you uh the ground floor uh, the the interior of the tower it is uh, circular shaped much like the exterior uh and there is some furniture up against the walls and it's it's divided in uh, in partitions so when you step in you actually see only part of what the ground floor would be. Uh, and it just looks like a... It's kind of familiar to both uh, um, those of you who were born on Plorin and those who were born on Ladara. It's just a simple uh, entrance room. There's a place where you can hang your coats. There's a place for your shoes. There's a set of stairs to your left. They're, uh, they're, set, they're built in a spiral and they go up to the floors above. 
And there is, uh, since you can look up, you can see the floors above, uh, you can see ver various bits of furniture before you even started to get there. You don't see any movement above, above you. No one that you can spot right away. You can see maybe the first two floors above you before uh, the glass gets a little bit too thick to be able to see anything else. And there's parts of the floors that are covered by carpets and they block your view entirely. And there's no other people inside, so as, as far as we can tell? Or... Not that you can see from where you are. Okay. No movement. No one walking around. Uh, you see uh, you see Noah taking off his own shoes and putting them in their own design, the spot. Ips way ahead of him. <laughs> so he is. And then he begins uh, um with with the floor uh, with the door closed behind you. Um you can see from inside the guard stationed outside. And he has your back to you. Um but as Noah slowly cautiously begins to poke around the ground floor, um, looking inside of a wardrobe, uh, opening a door to check the other parts of the floor. Uh, he, he keeps looking back towards the guard and he stops whenever there's some passers-by uh, a small distance away that can be seen. But he has begun to poke around, uh, just being cautious of the fact that people outside can see in. Uh, would you like to help him? Do we know? Is he just scouring the tower for his thing, basically, or that's I'm... the assumption? You don't okay. see him take yeah. anything yet. Yeah, I mean, that's why we're here. So, I think being wary of touching too many things, but definitely keeping an eye out. And double, especially keeping an eye on guards. Okay. Uh, anyone who's trying to help him out can need to roll two things. A stealth check and an investigation check. Ip is like all about helping Noah right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, as far as Pip understands it, you're looking for a magical rock, so... Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's quite hype. Alright, stealth. Yep, here Not we go. Not great. <laughs> and investigation. Cool. Surprisingly much better. <laughs> Both of you are all pretty well for. <laughs> oh no. Okay. For all of you, the first one is stealth and the second is investigation? Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are not the uh, detective squad here. Let's see. Uh, let me write these down because otherwise I'm going to lose track. So, just a second. I'm going to put them in my own notes. Uh, Bip. Wait for me. Deca. Lirion. Nice. Rook. So Brook 19 stealth. 13 investigation. Pip has 12 and 17. Deca <laughs> has 12 and Six. Virion. Do we roll for Sunny as well? Eight. Um, Sunny is uncomfortable with going through other people's belongings. Um, not uncomfortable enough where he stopped you guys from doing this in the first place. Uh, she just like 
when when you when Brooke turns back to see that she's not helping, she just points in the direction of the guard and says, "I'm just keeping an eye on him." Her? He nods. I, I'm not sure. And so all she does is every once in a while she warns you whenever uh, somebody's walking by, uh, whenever she can see anyone outside looking in. Um. And so, you poke around, and uh, no one seems to interrupt you, at least at the beginning of your search. Uh, and the, the inside of this tower, where almost everything is made of glass, some pieces of furniture seem to be made of stone, and there's a few things that are made of wood, but there are even bits of furniture that are made of glass, and it's all... A little bizarre, but it does make it easier to search for things, as for the most part, you can see through most things. You can see through a desk what's inside of a, of, a, of its drawers. Uh, you can see past the door what's in the room adjacent to you. Um, and so besides the kind of alien sort of furniture, uh, everything seems like just a normal building for now. So you begin to move on to the floor, uh, to the floors above. Um, let me look over here real quick. I don't need this. Oh no, I have arranged my notes in the most terrible of ways. Alphabetically. <laughs> um, the second floor seems to have uh, some more um, actual personal possessions. Uh, it's organized like an office. Uh, there's a desk, there's bookshelves, uh, um, and as you begin to poke around the uh, at the contents of the books, um, it, 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 Pip would happen to be the one who like went for the books, and at first uh, he saw that the majority of them were written in various Ladarian languages. There's some Ezenfair, there's some, uh, some Itaran, um, and uh, then there's some that are in Plurnan. And a lot of it just seems to be... Um, like the first... Uh, ooh, would Pip have uh, knowledge of this? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Um, they are books about Lidaria. Like the first few things that have been published by Plurnans as they started to come in and investigate things. And so the majority of that is stuff that... You guys kind of know, and it's for the most part of information about the peninsula and things that can be found on it. Um, so without like stopping to go through them a little bit, like too much, uh, it's... Uh, you wouldn't really notice anything that you wouldn't already know. Uh, but what would get Pip's interest is that there are actually uh, notes here on uh, books, sorry, books here on the... On the wildlife and plants and their uses and some stuff that branches straight up into potion making. Um, Yoink. So Pip can roll a <laughs> d4. d4. One. Okay. You gain a new recipe. Uh, so you're gonna have to clarify something for me yeah uh as far as i know based off the rules you sent me having a recipe in front of me is just one step but learning the recipe itself is something that costs time and money so when you say learn a recipe I is say just... you you learn it like to the point where you can use it. Oh, cool. Um, a while back, you guys traveled through. Um, oh, actually, I don't know if you already have this. Do you have a list of the recipes you already have? Yes. Ooh, send it to me real quick. Well, the so list of sure the I'm ones I've learned. If that's what you mean. Let me send that to you real quick. As Pip does some speed reading. 
Here you go. Nope, can't send it. Too long. Hold on. What? I know. What recipes do you have? So many. Okay, there you go. Da, 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 da. Okay, marvelous. A long time ago, uh, the, your your party traveled through a, a swampy area, uh, and the only thing that uh, prevented you guys from uh, being absolutely destroyed by the various bugs and insects there was uh, the fact that Alex had uh, um, a a thing, a smelly thing that would uh, keep the the bugs away from you. Uh, and uh, Pip finds a recipe for oh. exactly that kind of <laughs> insect repellent salve. Nice. Um, I'll give you the text. Thanks. Um, Pip looks around, checks to see if anyone's looking. He's going to try and sneak it into his bag. Considering your stealth check, Everyone in the room with you notices. Virion <laughs> sees him and gives him a thought this would be sleight of hand. Oh no. Virion approves. Tekka disapproves. Looking up at the floor above you, um, you can't see the majority of it because um, there is a carpet covering a great portion of that floor. Uh, so looking up, you just see the square that is like the part below of the carpet and uh, um, not a whole, a whole lot else to see. Um, but still no signs of anyone being here. Uh, you haven't heard or spotted anything. Just seems to be you guys. Uh, then you move on to the floor above. Mm -hmm. And when you when you reach the top of the spiral staircase, um, you see that the majority of this floor is occupied by something that immediately makes Brooke's eyes sparkle a little bit with excitement. Uh, as the carpet that you had seen earlier from below, it has this uh, pattern, this square pattern of alternating red and light brown uh, squares. And uh, upon this, this, I, I just want to emphasize, it's a very big carpet. Uh, there are wooden statues, life-sized, of various different creatures. <laughs> And to Brooke, it becomes quite apparent that you are uh, in the presence of the lowest of uh, section of a dragon chess board. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, if the professor hears about this. Brooke can He'll see, like, so at a glance upset. that this is an in progress game. Uh, perhaps middle to late game the majority of pieces have left their starting um their starting location and uh, um many are missing must have been captured must have moved over uh, to the other levels of the board um even those of you who are not proficient in dragon chess you know that it's made of three boards uh, that are one above the other, and this will be the lowest one, uh, the one that's the uh, level one, the underground. And looking above, through the glass ceiling, you can see that there is another carpet covering the floor directly above you. So you imagine that the other floors have the other sections of the giant dragon chess board. 
Uh, the spiral staircase, much like it did in between all the floors you have uh, climbed to thus far, it goes up like half a floor, and then you have to cross the room, and then it goes up the other floor, and then you have to cross the room, and it goes to the next floor, and so on. Uh, so you have to walk through the chessboard to actually get to the next set of stairs. And uh, um, as you're like taking all of this in, and this is like the most plurinant thing you have seen in the entire castle thus far. Um, as you're taking in the view, you notice each of the chess pieces slowly turning to look at you. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Ah! ah! That's not how dragon chess works. <laughs> <laughs> so you can position yourselves. Uh, on any of the squares uh, on this oh, side. Oh, do we of the have board. to move in in chess patterns? <laughs> um, these pieces are here just for me to have uh, them in be in initiative, so you don't have to worry about these. Um, sure, sure, I believe you. <laughs> the the actual carpet is the actual board you can be on. Um. Did did. Did it feel like we triggered something, or just like they just don't like us here? <laughs> <laughs> More of the second one. Well, that's rude. It's like, who's that? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Oh boy. Wait. What's up? Mm, I did it wrong again. It's been so long. <laughs> Nobody. Hmm? Hey, I think we're all set. Well, I hope the professor is uh, enjoying his vacation. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes? What? Sunny has advantage on initiative rolls. She do. <laughs> she do. <There> <laughs> Is... is she... Is she what? Why is she blank? Hold on. Oh, she needs a name. She's she's blank in the initiative tracker. Like, she doesn't oh. have a name. I was like, what, what's going on? There she is. Boom! Alright. Uh, we 17? can... Uh, let me also... She should be at a 10. Let me also put her... Uh, red. Like that. <coughs> she should be at initiative 10, by the way. 10? Yeah. Uh, Pretty sure I put 10 fresh. in. Yes, you put, you put 10 in. Okay. Uh. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Why is she not changing? It says 10! Okay, why is it 13? <laughs> What's going huh. on? That is strange. What is this? <laughs> oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> what? I have, I think I have an idea. I might have set her to be not player controlled. So mm. it's treated like an NPC, so it's actually rolling. It's trying to roll it, yeah. Wait, uh, what do your settings look like on any of you guys? Uh, oh, yeah, it was rolling initiative instead of taking the value. So if I do this, now it should be proper. 
So we set it to 10. And boom, okay. Sorry, nice. you meanie. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Cool. I'm so, all mountain. Um, <laughs> uh, as, you, as you're all coming in, um, and uh, at first you're just looking around in this room, and it really doesn't have anything other than the dragon chessboard. Um, no other bits of furniture, just the exit to the, to the upper floors. Um, as all of the pieces turn to look at your group walking in, uh, you hear just a loud sound of something shutting close. Uh, the, the staircase that, that you just climbed out of, it's suddenly blocked, blocked off by a wall, and so is the staircase at the other side of the room. Uh, and you are trapped in here with a bunch of dragon chest pieces that begin to... Um, they they are they're animated, despite being statues. And you see all the dwarves, for example, uh, just pulling out their wooden axes. Uh, you see the elemental over here uh, beginning to take to take some steps, and uh, the um, the hostility is quite obvious. Uh, I do have a mini for Noah, I suppose, but he's even yeah. Um, like, he's not part of the combat because, as he said, he's going to let you guys handle things when they go wrong. Uh, so, like, he steps behind your group right away. Uh, and we can begin with Virion. Cool. So, as these things are, like, pulling out weapons and turning to us, do they look like... Like, they're, they're, like, they are, like, focused on us, right? It's not like uh, we just walked into, like, you know, a Chuck E. Cheese stage show where they're just going to fight each other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they seem to be hostile towards you. They were okay. not fighting each other when you walked in. Okay. Um, I think she'll, you know, draw her rapier and just... Does anyone here remember how to play chess? I can if you... If I can sleep on it, but I wasn't ready for this today. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to lose chess. <laughs> well, we will we'll put a pin in that one. Um. Man, this feels so I weird know how to, to, lose to do. Chess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, thanks. I think she's just gonna go to this one here. Mm -hmm, this dwarf. Um, this dwarf. Uh, rapier out, shield out. Just looking at it, it's like an animated statue. Is there like a spot on it that looks like it might be a weak point, especially on his weapon arm? Because if so, that's where she would like to try to stick her rapier to see if she can maybe jam it up without just, just straight up destroying it. Is this a feature, like, insightful fighting? <laughs> nope. nope. Okay. Uh, let's leave it up to um, a perception check, then. Sure. I'm on one monitor today, so I am popping tabs. There we go. Uh, Viren can see right away that these things are exception exceptionally sturdy. Uh, I guess earlier I described them as, as life size, but that's incorrect because they're like they're twice your size. Yeah. <laughs> they're way bigger. Um, you imagine that if they're meant to be used to play an actual game, uh, they look way too heavy to like move around. Um, and perhaps that's why they're animated. They seem to be able to walk on their own. Uh, so right away, you would you would be able to tell that there's probably no moving them around against their will. It would be they would be too difficult to grapple to knock prone. Um, but at least the in terms of what they're made of, it feels like wood would uh, would not uh, be impossible for your weapon to strike through. 
so no weaknesses that she can discern, uh, but also she figures that her weapons would be good enough. Okay. Uh, in that case, you're just gonna uh, rapier this thing. Okay. I have to remember what my attack bonuses are. <laughs> Is now that I haven't numbered them, so I can't keep a track of which one is which. So, one, two, twenty-three hits. Okay. And we'll hit it again. Uh, Eleven is not enough. So on an 11, he, while the first blow manages to just cut through uh, a bunch of wood that makes up one of his shoulders, the second blow is interrupted by the shield, who is also cut by your weapon, but um, you're, you're, you're slicing off a, p a piece of wood from it, but not damaging the main body of the statue. She'll just sort of retreat a little bit with her rapier, just shield at the ready, just... on the defensive, and that will be... Okay. Uh, Brooke, you know the rules of dragon chess. Yeah. Are you ready to take <laughs> notes? Oh, God. <laughs> um... Uh... Yeah. All right. So, dwarves. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> they can only move one step forward or sideways and it can only capture one step diagonally capture mm -hmm. what does that mean attack like take oh. yeah like uh, take an enemy piece they can only attack diagonally but they can only move sideways and forward. sideways and straight forward Okay. So as an example, I'll put examples on the board. Okay. Yeah, as an example, yeah, this yeah, dwarf. Ah, okay, yeah. Those are pawns who can also move sideways. <clears throat> essentially. I think if we, if we, can we have a? It's, I'm pretty. I'm assuming it's not going to be that deep. But if we need to know all the. Uh, movements of it can we just put it like to the sides here and have the example put it on a so card <laughs> so they don't i will tell you how it works if you want notes or other things you can you can uh, do it yes make though. them okay okay can, we, okay. can i get a cue card no, it's like uh, the work. ones on your yeah like 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 these ones oh, yeah it slithers through dust very dead it, now it's fine it's fine oh, that's mm -hmm. fine okay <laughs> Um, okay. Basilisk, and uh, I am skipping over. There are special rules for most pieces for how they move across boards. This will not be relevant <laughs> for you, okay? Okay, okay. All right. So, okay. Basilisk yeah. can move and capture one step diagonally forward or straight forward. So, all around them. No, diagonally forward or. Okay. Got it. They can also move without capturing one step backward. Do they have to do both together? When they move forward? No, probably not. When? It's okay. Just rambling to myself. Okay. <laughs> the elemental can move and capture one or two steps ortho or orthogonal. Wow. Orthogonally. I'm going to say that word a lot today. What? I better... <laughs> I better huh? learn how to orthogonally? Do it. What that is means, orthogonally? That means non-diagonally. Like forward so, or back or sideways. One two, space. One, one or two. One or two. Capture and, and they move? can also they can also move diagonally one space without capturing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind, I can't play Dragon Chess. I, I understand 
play a dragon chess baby! <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to really make Matt regret not being here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, Brooke, it's your, it's your turn. Uh, also, since you have no knowledge of Dragon Chess, you'll be able to tell that this particular board position, besides being, like, as I said, mid to late game, uh, it does seem somewhat uh, equal between the two sides. It will be kind of difficult to tell without seeing the rest of the boards, but thus far, it seems somewhat balanced. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Where is the uh, staircase? On the opposite close side off. of the room, but it's okay, closed but off, it's yeah. Okay, it's closed off, okay. Like My question is now, do they want us to attack? Or do they want us to move the pieces? Viren has attacked one of the dwarves. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna shout to the elemental. One step forward, attack. The elemental oh. doesn't seem to want to move. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> well! <clears throat> okay, let's move then. Let's fight our way. That sounds, that sounds not like the right idea to fight our way through this thing. Oh well. We'll try. We'll figure it out as it goes. <clears throat> How much? How far can I go? Up? Hmm. You dwarf, you are dwarf. Okay, I attack. I first hurt myself and then I attack, actually. Okay. So. Um... You are. Close enough to Sunny, where you can still oh. count on your oof, on your abilities. Okay. <laughs> what did I, I? I didn't write it down. What did it say the distance was? Is a hundred feet? I thought it was a hundred feet. I think okay. you said okay. hundred feet. All right, that sounds about right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I did write it down. Yeah. All right, I take once. Hmm. Boom. 15? 15 hits? Okay, oh, wait, no, 15 okay. does not hit. Sorry, I gave you a false hope. Oh, okay. Well, I attack again. <laughs> huh? 16 hits. Hey. So, uh, <laughs> that's so meaningful for you. <laughs> Okay, we attack. That's uh, two radiant, six slashing. Oh, okay. Certain slashing. Noted. Um, you just cut off. You 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 slice a piece off the dwarves' armor. Uh, you just. Shave it off, and can I... point it just falls on the ground. Yeah. Can I yell to the others while I attack it that the dwarves can only attack diagonally? You can say anything you want. All right. Be careful! The dwarves only attack diagonally. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> 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 Okay. Is that everything I from Rook? I the other oh, movements, but they seem too complicated to say in <laughs> six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. That means it's the elemental turn. Oh, it's going to ah! <laughs> <laughs> Pip! 
Wait, how did that do that? How did that go to diagonal? Did I write it down wrong on this it one? It can move or uh, end or capture one or two steps. Oh, wait, no. Diagonal is just one. Ha! They're, they're here, so it begins. Let's move to... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows the rules okay. of dragon chess. Yeah, Not even I got the this. DM. I got this. <laughs> Bip. So where was he? Was he on the, the yellow square or the... He was here. He was on the red. Yeah. Okay, okay. Moved in two diagonal, but can only cool. move one diagonal cool. to here. Can it dash? I may not have thought of this through too much, but you know what? <laughs> it can totally dash. So it's gonna what do two hell? movements. That's not how dragon chess works. That's never <laughs> so dashing in dragon chess. You don't know that. <laughs> I have lost enough of dragon chess games. <laughs> Or maybe that's why you keep losing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't make Pontifex your pieces never dash. dash too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like. Um. Oh, you get out the jury. Oh, oh, it's nothing. Okay. Pip screams. Let <laughs> 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 me. He, he says, I'm sorry it's all my fault, I took that book! <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault! And then he's going to, uh, he's going to hold up his doll in front of him and unwinds the, the strands of, of fabric untangling and uh, making cocoons in eight different spaces all around this element. Uh -huh. And, uh, Eight newborn pangolins emerge. <laughs> no? Newborn? A barrier. Well, <laughs> fresh adult pangolins. Oh, God. All right. So I know I said that the pangolins are a thing you can summon, but what do I use for the meaning? Because I don't have pangolins. I'll get some dogs out. <laughs> oh, man. That'll be good. Uh, like weasels? <laughs> Yeah! Let's get. I think Weasels might be the closest, like, tiny thing that I have. Uh, Seahorse. Badger? <laughs> yeah, let's do a badger. I also have ferrets. Let's. Okay, let's go, let's go with the badger. Badger is yeah. close in plumpness, I would say. In plumpness? Yeah, approximate <laughs> plumpness. I feel like badgers are approximately penguin shaped. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Pangolin. <laughs> it's so cute and tiny next to that elemental. But vicious. <clears throat> but vicious. And it's going to be like a bit more brownish. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna have eight of them. Pip's just gonna slide to the right next to Tekka and, and just say, Hey, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also I need have... to roll a d8. <laughs> right, yes. Oh, Let's yeah. see what, what, <laughs> what brand of pangolin we got. <laughs> oh, eight. Eight, eight is... they're shadowy. <laughs> They can, move, <laughs> they can move through and stop in occupied spaces and can squeeze through one uh, through gaps one inch wide. Shadow, Shadow pangolins. pangolins. <laughs> They're nice Terrifying. creatures. It works so well. Yes. <laughs> All right, I need to roll initiative for the pangolins. Uh. Okay. Here we go. I kidnapped one pangolin. Eleven. So, this one, it's the chosen one. You can have it uh, here. With the bar on top. And it's the one we'll use uh, to actually keep the chosen track pangolin. of the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> they have eleven hit points. Do they all need their own bars? Or would I've be got easy them to on my sheet. Them? Okay, so I'll just number them. Okay. Okay, wh um, what are the rules again? Do they go after you? No, I, I rolled own? initiative for them. Okay. Uh, which oh, is oh. So just, uh, also an 11. There you go. So. Great. 
Uh, um, why is it Pip's seven? also going oh, to Oh no, make... I did the thing. Oh. <laughs> I have to click the initiative. And you said 11? Yes. Pip's also going to make uh, magic stones and hand them up to Squeak. So Squeak has three magic stones now. Uh, Squeak the rat is uh, struggling to hold all the stones in his oh, tiny yes. little rat arms. <laughs> Squeak will transform uh, on his turn. <laughs> Just puts them on the ground. Okay. Pekka! I mean... I I think Tekka cannot like Tekka has to be fighting alongside the Pegasus. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and yeah, let's get slammed. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, Tekka, that's smart. Good positioning. <laughs> <laughs> Tekka's never played no, Dragon no. Chess. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen misses. It sure does. Tekas is this massive go. wooden statue that seems to be of a creature made of a bunch of rocks. Um, it, it seems like the kind of thing that Pip would be excited about if it was actually a rock. Uh, your staff initially bounces right off the wood, uh, but then on the second one, you hit with like the, the, the front part of it, the top, more like a thrusting motion, and you just make a hole through it. Uh, roll your damage. All right. And may please do a constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw for this elemental. Wow. Natural 20. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's just do some flurry of blows. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. pow. Ah, 28 hits. Eleven damage, and yet another. Nice. Thirteen. That this is not hit. Is not sufficient. Ah, uh, you strike a couple of times on the four on the fourth attempt to hit the elemental. Uh, the wooden statue manages to like grab your staff, gives it a bit of a yank. You're almost it's almost pulled out of your hands, and you pull back and you you keep your hold on the weapon. Ah. Uh, the, the elemental seems to be to, to want to fight back. It must now do a another a dexterity saving throw. Oh? Mm -hmm. Oh, even on a hit on a miss? Well the, this was for the first one. I just did both at the same time. Oh okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, plus that, that's a thirteen. Okay, it is. Uh, it has fallen prone. Nice. <laughs> hey, Fagolin's attack! Swarm <laughs> <laughs> him! Swarm him! That's his weakness. I, I, I mentioned this earlier. Tekka wouldn't have known, but Viren has already noticed that these things cannot be knocked prone. Okay. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they, they, they resist it. It's okay. okay. Like, they're, they're all just, flanking anyway. They're just too big and too heavy. Uh, no, no matter how hard Tekka tries to like knock them over, uh, they have really good balance. It's one yeah. of those boards with like magnets beneath. <laughs> <laughs> so the pieces yeah, I was over. also thinking of a travel pocket chest. Yeah. Set, where every time it knocks over, it just goes boop. Back up. <laughs> just flips back it's up. Table foot proof. <laughs> yeah. All right, it, the carpet turn? also does not absorb any spills in case you drop your drink. <laughs> <laughs> Great technology. <laughs> pangolin time. Eight pangolins attack with advantage. My god. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 20. <laughs> uh, 20 yeah. times eight. 22. Hit, hit, hit. Natural 20. It? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 Jesus 
<laughs> Winter is getting full. Oh, 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 number six, sad pangolin. <laughs> Oh, that one too. Oh no! My streak, yes. my streak. And one more. <gasps> oh my God! I just looked at your Carter oh. sheet and saw all eight <laughs> pangolins. The army of pangolins. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Three, four, in order, number one's the two crit. Crits. That's two d six plus one. Did they do one d six of damage? Yeah. <laughs> These tiny things. Eight points of slashing. Okay. Uh, what the heck? Why yeah, has Pangola? Why has Ollie never helped in fights? Two that? and three. <laughs> two and three do like an extra four damage, right? Because uh, Virion's nearby. What, one should two. Is everyone within twenty-five feet? Oh, oh, twenty-five feet. I thought it was just it, twenty. It goes up five feet every time I level up in the class. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's literally all of them. Oh, say, okay, that's say half twenty-five. Of them. Half yeah. of them. Okay. Yeah, it's half of them. So, so uh, add over. four to that first one. Uh, uh, so an extra four. Okay, where's the... Uh, oh no, I need razor. Number two. I need something clean. Is that one four? Yes. Got it. Uh, number two is nine points of slashing. Okay. Uh, the elemental has been defeated. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> can I forward those rolls somewhere else? <laughs> yes, if they can approach, if they can get to the other. But would they have flanking? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Okay, yes, I can go. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, how they many, can all just. How many did it take? Just two. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, then they go here. Uh, These can move um, as well means... to provide the... Yeah. The <laughs> They're just gonna keep swarming. <laughs> swarming <laughs> different <laughs> pieces. <laughs> Alright. Swarm so, of pangolins. Swarm of pangolins. Uh, okay, number three. Does not get... A, uh, a damage bonus, though, so it's just d6 plus one. Three points. Okay, this is dwarf number five. Number four was another crit, so 2d6 plus one. 12 points oh of slashing. <laughs> five missed, six I don't missed. Know. I don't know if they're pangolins. Right now, they strike me more as... Uh... What's the name of the small bugs that eat wood? Termite. Termites. Yes, termites. Swarm of termites. They're just Sorry, biting through the statues. Five hits and then seven and six and. Penguin? <laughs> okay. Hey, Pangolin six points penguin. from number five. Six and seven miss, and then number eight <laughs> does four points. Okay. Oh no, what have I done? Move these over. <laughs> Maybe not enemies where they're getting at each other's way on my board. Okay, uh, an extra four. Nice. That is the end of the pangolin swarm attacks. <laughs> For <Okay>. now. <laughs> For now. What, what would Sunny like to do? All right. With her can I ask new a, fancy can, mini. Can I ask a question for Brooke? Or for Dennis in general? Uh huh. <laughs> because how do you win Dragon Chess? <laughs> um. Just like in chess, you have to put the king in a checkmate position. Okay, has any of these things the king? No. You know that the There's starting no position of the king, king? In, a in a in a like the the starting position in a new game is in the middle board. Oh. All right. <clears throat> 
Okay. Interesting. Let's see how far Sunny can move. Nowhere. What the heck? Um, <laughs> I think 20... Okay, she attack. She attack. Give me a second. That's fine. I'm I'm all, I'm looking for the side block I gave you over because I'm I already I forgot. The an or I can DMs. put her in your in your Carter sheet in the extras tab. Yeah. So you can always sure. uh, refer back to her uh, sidekick. Yes. It says Sunny gains a plus two bonus to all attack rolls. Is it already included on my weapon? What it says there? It it says that it's already included. So like you roll what you see in oh, the two handed okay. sword attack. It literally says right afterwards. <laughs> yes. So like where it says <laughs> plus it. ten to hit, that includes the extra two. <clears throat> As for twenty five right. hits. Well, damage. All right, um, extra. Uh, okay, sorry. Is it broken? Nope, but almost. Okay. Ooh. All right, again, again. Twenty-three hits. Oh, she hurt. <laughs> Then is enough to destroy the dwarf. The statue, it, it, it's... What do you call... Hold on, what is it called in English? Sawdust! Yes, it is. Tur it turns to sawdust. Oh. Boom. Alright. That's what I was looking at. I was like, why is Virion so small? And it's just, it's just she's. <laughs> yeah, why are you so small, Virion? Huh? I'm ever so small. I'm ever shape for a female. Oh, thank you very much. Sure. Uh, <laughs> <Tour> queen. <laughs> You do you. I you think can that's take my turn. the elemental and uh, is that where your trophies go? Austin? Uh, is, it, is it your oh, chest? What? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you may have the door. Okay, anything else from Sunny? Mm, nope. Uh, Sunny, as she just cuts through the dwarf statue uh, and sawdust flies everywhere. Mm. She sneezes and then looks over Brooke and says, I never did like this game. I, I, I don't know what you see in it. It's interesting. It, keeps, it gets your mind off things. Uh, Basilisk, one step diagonally forward or straight forward. Oh, we didn't add the extra damage for Sunny. Uh, he wouldn't have killed him second foot. Right? Plus four? Yeah. So it's yeah. fine. Woo! I mean, she couldn't have moved afterwards anyway, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have a basilisk coming here. Uh... It will capture this dwarf. I cannot move towards you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one diagonally in this direction. And that's it for the battles. So squeak. All right. I transform Sailor Moon style. <laughs> 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 hmm. Yeah. What do you think of that, Noah? <laughs> Surprise! Anyway. Noah! 
He's like doing the thing where like he looks like he's trying to come up with something to say and then decides against it. And then just gives a thumbs up. Uh, Squeak hurls a magic stone at Dwarf 3. Okay. Uh, yeah. 24. 24 hits. Uh huh. 2d6 plus 4. Twelve points. Wow. Got it. He tosses a pebble at this giant wooden statue, uh, and the pebble's magic. It, it, it's like it burns through the statue, and so it goes through almost like a gun's bullet. Is that it from Squeak? That's it. Oh, it's dwarf time. Ooh, so intimidating. They move a whole <laughs> step sideways. Um, <laughs> four, five. Uh, this one is uh, going. Attack? No, he can't. <laughs> he can't. <laughs> There's nothing diagonally. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have put the, that dwarf in stalemate. The fucking <laughs> tactical pangolins? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so I have listened to my instructions. <laughs> Alright, it's me instead. <laughs> <laughs> I think Oh my god. Seeing this, yeah. This, this basilisk in front of her shoulders looked to Brooke. Oh, where should I not be standing right now? Is this a bad place to be standing? This seems like a bad place to be standing. Um, for the basilisk, yes. For the dwarf, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. Worst place to be standing. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we will cunning action disengage. And, uh, let me. Is this better? Uh. <laughs> Jax's <laughs> notes. Um, usually yes. there isn't a time limit in Dragon Chess, and <laughs> Brooke, that's throwing you off. Yeah. <laughs> Is this better? She asks as she goes to stab a basilisk in the back. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you know, all these things move better than I do. Well, the, the drawings are on the board. <laughs> Yeah, they're even on the board twice. Because <laughs> I did this one. Well. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, gonna fish. Okay. Some an L. 21 hits. I need to just okay. Oh my god. With no what? No, that's not damage. That, that's oh, not damage. Okay. That was. How did you roll crit... 13? <laughs> no, that, that was me crit fishing for uh, yeah, yeah. elven accuracy. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> what am I rolling? Damage. Good damage, and then we'll hit it again. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Trying for the cut again. We need to make you a button to like yeah. roll, roll thrice. Yeah. Um, I just never think about it until I'm in the game. Uh, anyway, 22 mm -hmm. hits, and this one's gonna be a yeah. sneak attack. You could roll 3d20s, I guess. Like click yeah, but I have to do math and like figure out which one it, it is. It, it's not uh, fair. Good damage. Good damage. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. <clears throat> That's basilisk. Basilisk number one. Got it. Then there. Okay. Moving on to. <clears throat> Moving on to Brooke. Okay. Well. None of these things have attacked us yet, right? Um, I believe so. <laughs> They've been unable to. Hmm. 
I'll go here. And strike down on the basilisk. Okay. Ow. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I, I hate my water bottle. But why? Dang. What did it do to you? It's been mean to me. 17 hits. <gasps> Fifteen <clears throat> damage. Three <clears throat> radiant. Very good. And another attack. Oh. Okay. Um, the first blow was pretty impressive. So you looked back to see if Sunny was looking at that moment. Um, and she wasn't, she missed your very good attack, but she does see you the moment you completely fumble the following one and drop your weapon. My fighting spirit is gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind, she doesn't comment on it. She pretends not to have seen, but you saw that she saw. Can I pick it back up or only next Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure. just, it's just flavor. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. Before I get ready to take a hit or two. <laughs> All right. There are no more elementals on this board. Uh, the, the white elementals seem to have already been taken care of during the game. So good. All right. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> as an action, Pip is going to change the uh, the face of the mask of Personas <laughs> okay. into the face of the sage, and then he's going to do his best Pontifex impersonation and say, <laughs> Oh, yes, dragon chess is a very fun ho 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 ho, <laughs> and <laughs> walk forward. <laughs> That's that's his turn. <laughs> Taka, for a moment it was as if Pontifex was in the room with you. Yeah, but like like Taka turns around at the side. He's just got a wrinkly face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I think yeah, Taka just. Sort of like gives a little smirk before like running off with the shadowy penguins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's continue the beating once more. <clears throat> Dark pangolins. <laughs> you know what was with this squad? <laughs> In for a beating. Oh my god, 21 hits. <laughs> <sighs> Let's Wait, what see. number is this? What? Oh no! I've been putting the damage on the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. I was like, what? I know it has taken damage. Please. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. So, uh, that is 13 damage? Yeah, second. 13 is enough to defeat it. Hey! <laughs> well done. Nice. You move to strike again, but the, the statue is just falling back. Almost falls onto a couple of the pangolins, but they move out of the it way. It does fall on them, but they're fine. <laughs> oh. They're shadows. They're Too shadows. powerful, that's right. Yeah, the dwarf statue <laughs> falls onto two of the pangolins, and for a moment your, your heart sinks, but they just like rise up through the statue, the wisps of smoke <laughs> just uh, reforming into the shape of a pangolin on top of the statue's body. Yeah, I think Tekka first is like hand outreached in fear, and then it like turns to a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> End of turn. Pangolin time! All right, so get this. If they weren't shadows, then they would have to go around the dwarf, but they can go through uh -huh. the dwarf <laughs> and into their <laughs> flanking positions. <laughs> All right, it's here we terrifying. Go. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even move their legs when they move. They just hover uh, across this uh, over the carpet. 
First one misses. Mm -hmm. Second one misses. Oh no. They've lost their edge. It, okay, 21. Is Quick riding one of them now? <laughs> <laughs> if he could, but they are. They are shadows. <laughs> Wait, how did we ride the shadow horses? You, you can. We have two hits thus far, three hits. Natural Four, 20. Natural 20. Hey, yo. Should I be counting all of these towards mine? <laughs> 21. Okay, so. If you, if you want. Five, five out of eight hits. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I'll I'll bloat my natural twenty with, scores with by counting all of the all of the advantage pangolins. <laughs> advantage Just add three pangolins. to my score. Oh no, I think my thing's broken. Anyway, oh. uh, right, five hits, one's a crit. Here we go. Should I just roll all the d6s at once? Sure. One, two, three. Four, and then one extra one because of the crit. Plus four. Okay, here's the remainder. So it's three plus 23 for 26 points. Of slashing. My god. <laughs> what? Okay. This dwarf is already close to being defeated between the pebble and the pangolin swarm. <laughs> it's nice. barely holding itself together. They're just gnawing <coughs> at like the ankles. <laughs> About to topple it the over. Movie. Uh, the movie called The Pebble and the Penguin. Uh, old animated movie. So every time you say pangolin, I think you're about to say penguin. I, I see. <laughs> Pangolin. Okay, that's Pangolin. it. Sunny. Um, I think she will do her first attack against Bezalisk one. Okay. Twenty-three hits. Okay. He's flanking the bird. Oh. Oh, you didn't roll an advantage? Okay. Yeah, you can, you can crit fish. Oh god. Oh, there's no need, actually. Ten is enough to kill it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, if you, if you like to crit fish for your own stats, but... Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, Sunny, uh, 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 while Brooke is busy picking up his sword, Sunny just strikes with hers. Um, uh... You guys seeing... Oh, seeing Sunny fight for the first time, uh, you see that she has a, a weapon, like, almost a, it, it matches the one a Brook has, but it is a little bit bigger, uh, and she holds it with both hands. Uh, she, uh, Brook has this style of swinging his weapon where he um, is a lot more... How do I put this? Sunny really puts her weight behind her swings. She fights a lot more like you would expect a fair bulk to, uh, just with her mere natural strength. Um, while uh, Brooke has a like a slightly different style from her in that regard. Um, and she seems she very much looks like she's trained in in fighting. Uh, she knows exactly what she's doing, and she seems to be like in in. Uh, her normal full strength, uh, and she just takes down this statue, moves on to the next one. Is that what the next roll is? <clears throat> well, that was for crit fishing. So okay. One. But let me see where the dwarves can attack. Important that she faces, and then she attacks. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, oh. <coughs> and... An MVP. Yeah, according to her, fact, that's a crit as well. She oh. crits on yeah. 19s. Is she hey, a yo. champion? Psychic. Well, she's a, she's a sidekick, so she has her own... Oh, 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 oh. 
So two dice and only one time the modifier, right? The modifier was plus what from Varen? One plus extra four. four. An extra d4 or an extra four? Extra four. Right. It's her charisma bonus. Oh, damn. Woo! That's... 22 damage. Yeah, as I mentioned, she just uh, she just puts all of her weight behind each of her blows. She just chops off an entire arm of the dwarf, uh, the one that's holding the shield. It goes flying, and uh, it leaves behind this trail of sawdust in the air that slowly falls to the ground. Uh, I, I don't know the rules. I, I don't think I'm doing it right. You're doing perfect. It is pretty fun. This is not how I remember playing it, but I like this version a little bit better, actually. <laughs> and that uh, uh, means we're moving on to the basilisks, who still cannot approach you. So what's actually going to happen? Um, white is that first? this one? Yeah, this one, I'm going to go by number. This one captures the dwarf, captures, and then this captures. one captures... Yeah, they, they trade. Is there hmm. something else? <laughs> uh, squeak time. Yes. Squeak, squeak is, is going enveloped to fly. in shadows. For a moment, How... it feels right at home. <laughs> How high is the ceiling? Um, I was picturing maybe 15 to 20 feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, squeak is going to fly up out of the dwarf's melee range. We'll let mm -hmm. you get a hit in. Uh, the dwarf can't attack on this square, so there is no opportunity oh, attack. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Do you want to be um, attacked? No, I just felt bad for you. <laughs> oh, that's okay. This is the first board. Yeah. <laughs> Start off easy. <laughs> uh, Squeak's going to throw another magic stone. Dwarf number three. Or a hi yeah <laughs> thirteen <to> it <laughs> oh thirteen misses oh no well Quick's just gonna fly back down look a little embarrassed to start picking up the rocks <laughs> yeah. Done. Dwarf time. <sighs> okay, so this dwarf can attack Rook. Instant oh. death. Uh, instant, <laughs> instant death. death. <laughs> uh, no, it is an attack rule. What? It doesn't even get a guaranteed hit? I, I, yeah. I could. Come on. Revise your rules. <laughs> it should get one in for free. <clears throat> but revise the rules when you hit it. <laughs> Not when you hit me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it if you want me to. <laughs> I've never had a player I'll tell me, no, to. get get a hit, hit for free. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. It feels right that if he's in the space where they, they, okay, they Fine. hit. Yeah, they they just hit. They don't. They can't attack all around them, but they can when they hit. They just insta hit. Uh, that doesn't mean no crit chance. Let's go with that. Uh, so roll the damage. Jeez, this plus that. That's ten points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, you are hit with an axe, but it's an axe made of wood. It doesn't really, like, it's not sharp <laughs> in that regard. Um, it's just kind of a heavy blow. Yeah, it's bludgeoning axe. Uh, this dwarf cannot attack anyone, and this one will move sideways. Yes. Boom. 
Okay. Virion. So that's why we shouldn't stand there. Got it. <laughs> the other side and uh, poke it again. Indeed. Mm-hmm, that's a hit. That's a fish. That. 14, where are we at with this one? Okay. How, how is it? Yeah, yeah, I'll see that good. This one. Oh yeah, it's the first damage that this dwarf has taken. Okay, then I won't take attack on this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then, the second time. It, six is also damage? The, the six is the damage. Got it. For the first one. And then... Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I see what happened. Yes. Six yes. damage. Got it. And then we'll see the attack on the second one. And then, indeed. I believe the missing attack button is going to have to remake it. There we go. <laughs> All two, lots of ones. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Right. Rune's not here to do damage herself. He's here to make everyone else better. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Speaking of everyone else, here is Brooke. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I attack. Mm hmm. <clears throat> 24 hits. You also are flanking if you want to. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. I'll plus an eight extra. Okay. I still have some plus four, I'm assuming. Uh huh. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. Wow, again. very nice good. Smashing. Very good damage. Thank you. Okay. Second <clears> attack. <throat> Each of you, oh. uh, oh, this is gonna narrate 22 hits. Uh, each Sorry. of you are just absolutely destroying this poor dwarf statue. Uh, I believe you cannot possibly not kill it on your next damage. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Wow, you did, you did try to roll as low as you possibly could. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the dwarf uh, um, is destroyed. Just wood pieces go everywhere. Uh, you're you're all glad you're all wearing gloves because Sunny ends up with like a wooden splinter in in one hand. You see her just sucking <laughs> on her thumb. Like, ah. uh, anything else on your turn? Don't. Actually, I only went like. How much did I go? Five feet? Yeah, you were in this Five. spot. Yeah, 25 oh, would yeah. be there. Alright. Okay, pip! Pip! Pip, pip, pip! Hum. Let's see. Pip's going to go over here, grab the unused rock from Squeak, and say, Oh, let me show you how it's done. And then uh, <laughs> put it in his slingshot and fire it towards dwarf number three. <laughs> okay. Choom. Choom. <laughs> yeah? That's how it's done. <laughs> you sure? You sure? Show. Squeak. Twenty 
You have it, 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 it's the uh, David and Goliath kind of situation. <laughs> you just toss the rock straight in between the eyes of this statue, and the entire thing topples over. You get to see again, once again, the pangolins being just uh, crushed by the statue, but then emerging unscathed, rising up like ghosts. Nice. Ho, ho, ho. Let us continue to have uh, the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Professor? Yes, it He's is me, back. fish woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. My God. I just run it, run it, run it. And that will be all. Okay, Pangolin Army. A swarm continues! <laughs> <laughs> Queek, coming with. This one's a little late to the party. He realizes it <laughs> after. This one was like cleaning himself and just yeah. chilling out. Taking a little break. But then when it, all the other ones move, it rolls up into a ball and rolls <laughs> all the way here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Miss. Hit. Mm hmm. Hit. Mm hmm. This is dwarf number four. Hit. It's a hit. It's a miss. Miss. <laughs> Hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, one more? How many have I rolled? One, two, three, four, five, six. You need two more. Okay. Hit. And... Miss. One, two, three, four, five hits. Five hits. So, five, d6, plus five. Or 26 points of <laughs> slashing. Actually, this one's 25 feet away from Virion, so add four. <laughs> so 30. 30. Wow. Every time this happens, I'm always shocked at the fact that Virion makes your animals so good. I know. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, the, once again, uh, as the swarm of shadowy pangolins uh, envelops this poor dwarf statue, um, it is slowly being consumed by their dark fangs. Do they have fangs? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, they, they claw the statue and they just start eating it alive. <laughs> um, not quite. Sunny. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> she has a lot of talents to move. Um, so I, I think she's gonna charge. Well, not charge, but. One second. Five. Okay. That is one. Um, mm, mm, mm. Actually, it automatically hits. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's it for her. That's it for her. Alright, Basilisk. Uh, move and capture one step diagonally forward or straight forward. This is gonna come here. And it, we have decided that they can dash. Oh, wait. yeah. Mm -hmm. We can stand on the spots where the pangolins are. We can also just move forward, I suppose. 
Jesus. Yeah, no, we can we can attack we can attack the No, we can't. It's a dash action. We're gonna come here. Boom. Okay. Squeak. Austin? Uh -oh. Austin? Did he say that he was leaving? Uh, maybe on the chat. Muted. He do be muted. Oh no. What came up? This tank wants to roll too much damage. Oh, we get to enjoy the music for a moment. It's really good music. <laughs> I do like it a lot. I can have music and listen to dogs barking. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean... We could also go for a short break if Austin isn't here. Well, I was gonna call the session after the the, oh. the fight was over. Then never uh, mind. But if you need if you need to use the restroom, you might as well. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. And off he goes. I can confirm that Pangolin do not have teeth, so no okay. fangs. No fangs. They're just n nibbling with their lips. Are these do have fangs and they're just extra scary pangolins? Yes, they're, they're, there you they're go. They're the shadowy fangs. kind. Oh, yeah. what did I miss? Ah, it's Squeak's turn! <laughs> ah! What? Did it eat pangolins? They're just hanging out. Just chilling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Squeak is going to get on over here and st sting it. <laughs> Gonna impale it with a stinger. <laughs> Okay. Which... The dwarf can move diagonally. Oh, but it's like it's like flying up, right? Yeah. Vertically up. Okay, can't reach. Uh, and then it comes okay. down and stings a basilisk. And that's gonna be. You know, I was saying that we're not gonna deal with the movement rules for moving across boards. But dwarves can capture like straight up. <laughs> so oh, for a moment I was wrong. like, can we can we do like can, can, That's can pretty I, cool, can, can actually. Can he attack above his head? But I was like, nah, Do it! It's, That's it's, fun! It's okay. It's, 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 squeak isn't flying above him anyway. Hit me! Uh, what did you roll? <laughs> 15? <laughs> mm -hmm. You hit it! Oh, really? No, as in, like, I'm challenging you to hit it because a 15 is a miss. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Squeak's yeah. stinger just gets stuck in the wood. <laughs> oh, yikes! He definitely gets a splinter in his tail. Oh! One second thought that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, dwarf time. This is... <laughs> it's hidden. He can't move sideways without capturing something. He can only move forward or sideways, and there is stuff in the way. Ah. Uh, that's it? <laughs> Virion! Okay. Who knew that the pangolins oh. would just... It's funny, the basilisk can immobilize a piece directly above it, so that they can't move. Uh, and that's what the pangolins are doing to the dwarf right now, they're doing the basilisk's <laughs> effect. Uh... Um... Is it? Can you, can you flank with the, the dwarf piece since these two things are fighting each other? Um, I want to get behind the basilisk. Oh my god, is flanking rules that uh, they need to be an enemy of the person that's being flanked rather than being an ally of you? Flanking. Yeah, it's it's a hostile creature towards it. I believe I can double check. If that's the case, it would work. I, I don't know what the wording is. That sounds right to me. I've never never seen uh, this come up before. 
No. Oh, one of his yeah. allies. It's one of his allies. Oh. Aww. It does specify one of his allies. The enemy of your enemy does not provide flanking benefits. <laughs> At least not when they're chess pieces. Oh, well. Uh, but you can send... Case, can you move over here? Oh, yeah, I think I can... Okay, I, I can bonus back with that. I can definitely get it. Yeah, I can oh, right. with that. This is fine. Uh, we're friends. <laughs> and we will hit this guy. Nineteen hits. No crit. No crit. Nope. Damage. Eight points of damage on this dwarf. Uh, is uh, very close, but not that. All right, so then we'll hit him again. Let's get them now. I have fifteen does not hit, but oh, and also does not hit. <laughs> no. Aww. It's the most disappointing. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's see if Brute can finish him off. I will certainly try. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> mm hmm. At twenty hits. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, plus four. So 20 damage. 20 damage is sufficient to destroy the dwarf. Okay. More than sufficient. Once again, you couldn't not kill it. <laughs> I don't think I've been giving trophies <clears throat> to everyone. Oops, whatever. whatever. I think the pangolins have killed most of them, so... Yeah. <laughs> and the second attack... Brook, you arrived to find Squeak in pain, just holding his tail. Oh! Oh, the agony! Oh! It's okay, he'll be fine. He'll agony! Be fine. <laughs> 27 <laughs> hits. Uh. Six wow, radiant. 17. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Got it. Indeed. Oh, plus four, actually. Again. <laughs> 21. Oh, yes. 21. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay, Pip, you you watch the devastation that your pangolins have, have brought. <laughs> uh, Pip says... Some call it a cheating. I call it strategy. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> he moves over here and makes more magic rocks and throws one at it. Okay. <laughs> 19 hits. Uh, and that's eight points. Okay. It's a very large chunk of its health, but it's still standing. Can Tekka finish the Basilisk off? Run, 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 run. <laughs> Lanking with the Shadow Pangolins? Let's go! The tag team! <laughs> Ultimate tag team. <laughs> Ooh, Ollie's gonna get jealous. Ooh. <laughs> What Ollie does not know hits. won't hurt him. <laughs> exactly. If he didn't want to have a reason to be jealous, he should help fighting. He should pull <laughs> his own weight. <laughs> oh my god. Nine. Oh, very good. The basilisk <laughs> is uh, nearly about to fall over. 
not a no, hit. Taka. Was that um how close are you, are you within twenty five feet of your hand? I, oh, I, I think so. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my god. I totally. Then, yeah. That, that item then means that on your first hit you do kill it. Oh, no, oh, oh. that is insane. Because so you were two yeah. hit points off. Nice. Okay. I'm still happy roll again. <laughs> yeah. That works too. <laughs> no, Taka, how would you like to do this? Smash? Um, yeah, I think, like, this Tekka running up, seeing just this group of shadowy penguins <laughs> all in the ring, and, like, uh, nods to one of the penguins on the other side to, like, have it, like, shadowy bounce around and cause a distraction to this basilisk and then just slap <laughs> Shadow ball. Behind. Yeah. <laughs> you can't catch me, you can't catch me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, with this distraction provided by the pangolin, you just whack the statue of a basilisk until uh, it cracks down the middle and it splits into two pieces. And it too stops moving. You have completely cleared this dragon chest board. Despite the, the destruction they had caused, the pangolins still looked unsatisfied. <laughs> Red in their eyes. <laughs> if he's the blood, they want more. And we're out of initiative. It's all right, I've got them for another 59 minutes. Let's keep going. <laughs> Looking up through the transparent ceiling, you can see um, the bottom part of another carpet covering the floor and you you fully expect it to like that you know what's coming um the Get off my pangolin <laughs> when the final piece uh, when it, when the basilisk <laughs> falls um the the um wow my words I'm losing them. Door. <laughs> the exit. Well, no. Uh, the, the stairs staircase. that had been hidden from view. Uh, the ones leading upward uh, return for, for use, but you still cannot turn back. The army of pangolins doesn't even wait to be told what to do. He just starts. They just moving. know. They just know. <laughs> they They're violence. already the has seeking. Been set. <laughs> <laughs> Noah is up. like both impressed and terrified. <laughs> he, he stays a small distance away. He makes a small comment about how we're like you guys are committed to this now, and, and just like kind of keeps to himself as if too scared to um, <laughs> to attract the attention of the army of shadow monsters. <laughs> All of the rocks are gathered. <laughs> uh Tekka walks up to Pip and, like, uh, pats him on the shoulder. Seems we have a new professor and tactician in our midst. I think he would be proud. Ah, yes. It is bemusing and, um, f frab frabulicious. <laughs> <laughs> frabulicious, indeed. <laughs> Only Tekka can make the word frabulicious sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're heading straight for the stairs? Off we go, oh. gentlemen <laughs> and others. Does anyone else find it odd that this was just set up like this? That the, the door opened once we destroyed these giant dragon chest pieces that also fought each other? It just seems very odd to me. <clears throat> it seems like someone was prepared for visitors. We have been given trials before. This could be yet another. W sorry, what what did you call this? D dragon chess? You know what this is? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, played a few times. Um, uh, 
better at it when I know I'm going to be playing the next day. Trust me. Uh-huh. Well, as long as you guys know what this is about and what's going on, I'll just um, follow behind you. There isn't really anything uh, here. Know what to search. So if there is something, it's going to be upstairs. You can look in those piles of sawdust if you really want to, but I don't think you'll find anything. Noah just kind of gives it a kick to one of them and rugs. And then he goes to check all the other ones. <laughs> Question. In, He's in such the, a loose goblin. In, in the piles of sawdust, is there like any I sense of like there was like a mechanism or anything powering these? Or they seem to like, for better or worse, come to life? Or were there like hmm. gears and like mechanical parts of them? They would be mechanical. Okay. Uh, now that you have like broken a bunch of them, you would be able to see that the way they seem to be able to move, it is machinery. Um, some parts even within them, when you break them open, you can see that some of them are metallic, and so there's like gears and such. Uh, a lot of it is wooden clockwork. Uh, it seems like this kind of thing would be pretty expensive uh, to, to make overall. Oops. Import other... I don't know if there's a way to tell, but like, is is there a way to... If, if any of the parts look like this is definitely what turned this thing on when we walked into the room? Or just that not discernible? Mm, I, I wouldn't even let you roll for it. The, oh yeah, that's fine. There wouldn't be a way. I mean, if it was like labeled or something like that, that's cool, but... I, you know. <laughs> they they do have a little plaque in front that says dwarf basilisk. Uh, that that's it there. That is fair. Maybe the professor is here. Let's make like a cat and shove off. <laughs> okay, so we're not gonna start. Uh... Uh, another combat now because the next one would last even longer we're already like three hours in uh, so just <laughs> take back your minis and I will call the session here and uh, you know exactly what's gonna happen next time really? What? Uh, playing more dragon chess nah uh, what? yeah it sounds fake <laughs> sneak peek why were you so nervous? oh ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I didn't even know if it was going to work. Show me. Ooh. You climb up to the following floor to find that uh, the... Uh, what oh. is called the surface board, the middle, the level 2, it's far more crowded. It very much looks like you have walked uh, into a... Uh, like uh, an image of uh, a battle everything is frozen the pieces are not moving it's like just a, a fraction of time in history everything is still up until the moment when you guys arrive where every head of every piece in the room turns to look at uh, uh, the outsiders and uh, uh, the pangolins are already jumping into action and attacking they've, the They've already one. taken them, them all out. All <laughs> <right>. <laughs> nice. Since we happen to end the session here, I'm going to give you homework and I'll tell you how to move. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll do it later on Discord. Uh, but yeah, thank you for playing. I hope thank you had you. fun. Yeah, thank you and, for the session. Uh, we will not be playing next week, so instead I will be seeing you uh, two weeks from now. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and boop. All right, and that's where I'm going to call the stream as well. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Yeah.